Hi guys, when I first started photography, one of the first things that I did was go to YouTube for inspiration. And I watched the likes of Thomas Heaton, Gary Goff, Adam Carr, National First Man Photography, Chris Sale, and Jason Jones. And recently, Thomas Heaton did a video on throwing away your wide angle lens. And I just thought, that's crazy. I mean, my wide angle lens is the one that I use the most. And I'm basically doing a video a day just to show you why I love the wide angle lens. And I'm here with David Byrne. And David's a fellow photographer in the Northeast who's also got a new YouTube channel. And I'll put a link to that here and below. So go and check him out. But David, your your go-to lens is a 16mm to 35mm. And that's on a full frame. That's pretty wide, isn't it? <laughs> so how did you feel when Thomas Eaton released this video saying throw away your wide angle lens? If I threw away my wide angle lens, that's probably 95% of my shots gone. So what do you like about the wide angle lens? Just the massive wide angle vista, the whole vista, especially on the northeast coast and sunrise. You just get the sunrise, get the massive sky and blow up the foreground. Exactly. I mean, the thing that I love about the wide angle lens is foreground. All of my images heavy on foreground interest and the wide angle allows you to use that and to use the background as more of a part of the story rather than the main feature. So we're going to go off now and take some images using our wide angle lenses and we'll talk you through them then. Now obviously Thomas didn't really mean to throw away your wide angle lens. He was simply saying how using a telephoto lens could benefit your photography and just changing it up and using something different. So as well as talking you through how, why I love a wide angle lens, at the end I'm also going to get out of my comfort zone, I'm going to get a 55 to 200 mil lens on the front of this camera and I'm going to take some shots and see what I get. Now, as I said before, one of the reasons I love using a wide angle lens is because you can really emphasize the foreground and work a composition and have the subject that you've came to photograph almost like the smallest part of the story um, with a big foreground leading up. Sometimes I've came to a castle and the castle is one of the smallest things in the image that I've taken and the foreground is just a massive feature. Um, and it's just how I work, it's just my style. I like to emphasize the foreground and just lead up to the subject and just have that as a part of the story. Story. Now let me just talk you through the image that I'm taking. I'm using this rock as foreground interest and I'm shooting at f9 ISO 100 which has given me a shutter speed of around about 1 8th of a second. As I say I'm focusing on this rock, I'm not using any filters, it's starting to rain, it's not the best conditions anyway so I'm just going to get the shots quite smooth on the water so it should be okay and it's going to lead up to the lighthouse. So let's take a look at that. Now another reason I love using a wide angle lens is I like to take a lot of shots in portrait orientation and what this allows me to do is to focus on the foreground, make that really big in portrait and just lead up again to that image and I think it makes a really good composition. So I'm going to take the same composition again but using it in portrait orientation and let's look at the differences and see what you think about using the wide angle lens and how it uses the foreground and emphasises it. Another reason I love the wide angle lens is that it stretches the image and creates space between the foreground and the background. This allows for creativity and different ways of using the provided area. So David, can you take me through the shot that you're taking now? Focused in on the detail of this rock and the island and the sky in the background. You've got a little stopper on to increase the exposure, six stops. Uh, polarizer to cut down on any reflection and see through the water. And that's giving me a 13 second exposure. See what it turns out like there. Fantastic. And if you were using a telephoto lens, what would be the disadvantage of using that rather than a wide lens? You'd have to stand about 100 yards that way and then the island would be about the same size as the, the rock in the foreground and just compress it all into one picture. Whereas in the wide angle you just get everything. The foreground looks huge and the island just tiny in the distance.
So typically it's started to rain and before it gets really wet I'm going to take a few handheld shots using the 55-200 lens and I'm just going to see if I can work the scene, get those images that Thomas talks about and just get the finer details and use that composition. Now I don't think I'm going to succeed, it's not my forte, I'm more for a wide person but I'm going to give it a go, get out of my comfort zone, I'm going to walk around and let's just see where I can get. Now one feature that I'm going to do on my channel is I had an idea to spend £100 and buy a budget lens. And I was going to review that lens, sell it and then rinse and repeat. Now when I was looking into what lens to buy, a, other, a fellow YouTuber Andy Shida, um, he said that he had a Nikon 55-200 to lens that he was willing to give away. Now for the purpose of this I wasn't going to just let him give it away so I gave him £20 for the lens and he's actually been kind enough to donate that to charity so fantastic, thank you very much for that Andy, that's, that's brilliant of you. So that's actually given me quite a head start. For £20 I've managed to get a Nikon 55 to 200mm lens, compliments of Andy Sheila. Link down below, please go and check him out. He's a no-nonsense photographer, really good, travels around the country um, with Lynn Luxon Jones, who's also a fantastic vlogger as well. She waffles like the best of them. She could do one take and last for 20 minutes and just keep you engaged the whole way through and they're both amazing photographers. So please go and check them out. And I say, so I've got this Nikon 55 to 200 mil lens. It's a budget lens. I paid 20 pounds for it. So far, I've been really impressed with this lens. Um, it's been sharp, it's got image stabilization which is amazing and I just think it's been really good. Now I'm going to do a video comparison between my 70 to 300, a Nikon 80 to 200 which is a granddaddy of the 70 to 200, a really well built lens and the Nikon 55 to 200 mil lens. So look out for that in the future. As I say, I'm going to review this lens, sell it and then we'll just rinse and repeat, get some more lenses out and hopefully you'll get an idea of good lenses to buy, bad ones to buy maybe, it'll all be fun and we'll just take it from there see how this feature gets on. So that's it from me and David. As you can see there's advantages to using a wide angle lens and also using a telephoto. They're both good for different situations. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's proven useful in your choice of your next lens. So until next time, it's bye from me and it's bye from David. Please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a comment below. Also, jump over to David's channel, check it out. He's new to vlogging, but he's got some great content on there. And I'll see you next time.